Last night, AEW's Dynamite, we had a lot of things happening. But basically, the show was revolved around the build-up to Full Gear, which we now know as of last night that the AEW World title will be defended in an I Quit match between John Motley and Eddie Kingston. We saw the AEW tournament progressing for the AEW World Championship. And we finally know who was going to challenge FTR. So it's going to be the Young Bucks versus FTR at Full Gear, which is the dream match that fans have been waiting for years now. Remember, these are the same two teams that were on Twitter a few years ago and said, well, the Young Bucks said that one day we're going to wrestle the Revival because they were called the Revival a few years back. And and everyone will rejoice. Remember this tweet. The Revival did the same thing. One day we will wrestle the Young Bucks. Because obviously the both fan bases, they've been going at it for years now. You had the Young Bucks with the oh F the Revival. You had the Revival with the F the Young Bucks. So... They've been going at it to see who's the best tag team. And now we're finally going to see the dream match. We're also going to see Darby Allen challenge either Orange Cassidy or Cody for the TNT Championship on the same show. We got Matt Hardy versus Sammy Guevara in the Elite Deletion match. So this full gear card is already looking fire and already looks like it's going to be better than AEW All Out because let's be real, AEW All Out was a decent show, but in, but in some eyes, it didn't live up to the height as many people thought it would be because All Out was like, should have been like either the WrestleMania or something like that, like AEW's WrestleMania or one of their big four pay-per-views or something like that. I don't know, some shit like that. But anyways, I'm not... I'm not here to talk about all of that. I just came to give you guys a rundown of last night. But the main thing that I really, really want to talk about was the MJF and Chris Jericho segment. So basically, obviously, you know, MJF is talking about how he wants to be in the inner circle. Jericho and the inner circle are deciding. And Jericho and MJF have a little steak dinner. But... What gets people talking was the musical number that we saw of Chris Jericho and MJF. Now, the internet and wrestling fans, many fans have have actually had either positive or mixed reactions. I've heard people say they love the segment. If you look at most of the comment section on the Social media, people were praising the segment, saying that it was amazing and it was entertaining as hell. But then you also had other people that were shitting on the segment. And honestly, I'm pretty much in the mixed. I will admit it was kind of cringy, but I think that's what made the segment good because it was cringy and it was weird. But that's what made it good, because when you have someone like Chris Jericho, who we already know is a legend, when you have someone like MGF, who I didn't even know who could sing, so that's shocked the hell out of me. But also MGF being the future star of the business. And because they're in a company that you have complete creative control and basically You have the freedom. You already knew even when this segment was happened, you already knew this was going to be a good segment. It just shocked a lot of people that it was a musical number because you would expect this shit out of WWE, not AEW. Because AEW, if you've been on the AEW train for since its humble beginning, you would know the AEW wrestlers and Tony Khan and them, they would talk about it in the interviews, talking about how, oh, no, we're going to be much different from WWE. We're going to be, we're not going to rely on sports entertainment. We're going to provide real professional wrestling. We're going to, we're going to, you know, like 
really get into it. You know what I mean? Wins and losses here in AEW are going to matter, where in WWE you can lose 20 times a week on Raw and then automatically get a title shot on a pay-per-view for no reason at all. So shit like that. Basically, wanting to be different from WWE. And I understand that. You know, that's pretty good. You know, you got to provide that alternate. Not everyone can copy WWE because it just stupid. So it just shocked a lot of people that they would do that after preaching this sermon that we're gonna be completely different from WWE. But in some, but in some people's eyes, that segment looked like a WWE segment. You know what I mean? Now, me personally, I didn't. I kind of liked it. Like I said, a little cringe, but overall, it was pretty good. Like I said. Um, adding more entry into the story that is Chris Jericho and MJF, um, with them being best friends, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. So yeah, man, that, that's my thoughts on the Chris Jericho and MJF segment. Uh, let me know in the comment section, you know, what you thought about the overall segment and, you know, what do you think about full gear that's coming up in November? So, yeah.